Greetings, South High School community. It's good to see you. Of course, I can't see you, but you can see me. Well, you get the point. Right now, I wish it was 7.45 in the morning and I was walking the halls talking to all of our students, but that's not the situation we're in right now. The spot we're in is tough and it's different for all of us. Most of us feel healthy, we're fine. We wanna go about our normal routines, but we can't do that. And the reason that we're all staying home is because of that. We all feel well, but we're the ones who are at risk to carry it around. And uh, unfortunately, we could compromise someone without the good health system that we all may have. So it's important that we stay home. Make sure you practice the, what the CDC recommends, keep your social distance, and hopefully we'll be back together sooner rather than later. You know, it's kind of a lesson in and of itself what we're doing is we're giving up our wants, our needs, our routines, the things we want to do for the good of all. And it's just greater purpose is that we are all better when we're in something together. So thank you for doing that. Well, we're beginning our transition into remote learning. We learned a lot through those two weeks prior to spring break when we had our e-learning or our act of God days, as the governor called them. I'm proud of those of you who engaged in your learning for those two weeks. That personal commitment and dedication was great to see. Two of the greatest skills you can have in life are empathy and self-discipline. Boy, this situation we're in now is causing for a great need of both of those. So keep working and developing those skills. We developed our remote learning plan based on feedback from you, feedback from our teachers, and the guidelines that were given to us from the State Board of Education. I believe we have a good plan that mixes a balance of academics, connection, reaching out, and keeping you busy and engaged in the important part of learning. We've asked our teachers to pare our learning down to those essential and critical learning skills that you need to move on to whatever comes next. Certainly we can't cover the amount of content we could if you were all here but our teachers are gonna work hard so that you have what you need to move on. For seniors, that's work, college, the military, whatever you choose to move on to. For some of our underclassmen, that's the next course in a sequence and that's what you need. And we're gonna make sure that we give you everything you need to move forward and continue to be successful. That modified block schedule is try to meet some of the unique situations that this current pandemic has caused us. Some, our family dynamics and living situations are very unique and based on each of us individually. Hopefully that block, modified block schedule will provide some structure, but also some flexibility, not only for you, the students, but for our staff as well, as they are home trying to do dual, dual roles of being your educator and the parent and primary educator of their own family. I can't stress to you enough though, this is not an e-learning day like you would experience on a snow day in the month of January. Whether we wanted to be in this situation or not, this is school. For at least the month of April, this is what South High looks like. You all are the students. You have to engage in the learning. The type of learning is very different than what we're used to. It's okay if you struggle. It's okay to ask for help. Staff will tell you this video I'm sitting here in a lonely library with one other person trying to make this video, doing some of the editing myself and learning new skills. So we hope, no, eh, we don't hope, but we know you'll struggle because we're struggling in trying to teach in this environment. That's okay. I speak for every adult in the building when I say our goal is for you to have a good experience. Our care about you is the most important thing so we will do what it takes to give you a good experience through this process. Now, there are many things that stay the same. Even though you're not here, you will be expected to participate, participate fully in your education every day. Parents, this is where I'm gonna personally appeal to you. We have to demonstrate to the kids now our partnership stronger than ever. We need your help. They need to get out of bed. They need to get into a school routine and they need to engage fully in their education. 
And we understand each family has a unique situation and their own challenges. That's why we did the schedule the way we did. That block schedule with some freedom, staff office hours, all of the things we've put into place. We will take attendance. Students on Monday through Thursday, that attendance is your responsibility. You'll be emailed a Google form each day to check in on. On Friday, your teachers are going to take attendance. And whether or not they mark you as present in the class on Friday will be based on the level of engagement you've participated in the activities for the week. Those two methods together will help us to keep an eye on your learning so that we're moving forward and make sure those critical skills and lesson content you need are had. So you will be accounted for every day. Behavioral expectations, those do not change. The Mustang Way and the principles of the Mustang Way, they go with you everywhere. Being respectful, responsible, and engaged is always a must. It may look different online and in the comfort of your bedroom, but the expectations are there nonetheless. Finally, your teachers, they're gonna give you assignment, they're gonna give you activities, they're gonna present lesson. Obviously, some will be at scheduled times and some will be during the time you're choosing. The goal remains learning. I can't emphasize that enough. I emphasize that purpose on learning because too many people, teachers, parents, students, all of us, we spend too much time worrying about grades. It should not be about the grade. One of the things I heard during our two week trial run before spring break is some kids decided not to do anything because well, my grade can't go down, what's the point? I'm not going to do that. Well, I'm telling you this, if, if you engage in your learning and give us your best effort, I promise you, your grade will not go down. But that came with an if. Your teachers are going to record all the assignments that they assigned before the 13th and have since graded and put into tech. That is your grade on the 13th when you went home. If you engage in your learning the rest of the year, your grade will not go down, I guarantee you that. Your teachers will continue to grade as they always have. And albeit it may look different now because they're doing it remotely, but they will give you assignments, they will assess your learning, and they will assign grades. If you do as well as you should or could, you're gonna get the grade that you earn. If you choose not to engage in the lesson or don't demonstrate learning, you'll be signed an incomplete grade until you demonstrate the learning. Some of you though, had grades on March 13th that you're not very proud of. Well, take advantage of this opportunity, let's work to get that grade up. Those th things that you did not do well on before the 13th, I would reach out to your teacher, say, what can I do differently? Are there things I can make up? As I have told you all many, many times, if you focus on learning, and being a full participant, the grade will take care of itself. Now, in this time we're in right now, is not a time to worry about grades. Focus on learning. Finally, I wanna acknowledge the many cancellations that we've already had. Spring sports have obviously come to a halt. We've had the one acts, the musical, the Mustang Trot, concerts, recitals, talent shows, individual ceremonies, assemblies, clubs, activities. You've all experienced cancellations. Seniors especially, I know how anxious you are about all the senior events, especially you're looking ahead to prom and graduation. Please know how much I value, I value the entire high school experience. I know that high school is much more than you, to you than just the classes and the coursework you're enrolled in. I know it's the relationships, I know it's the activities, and it's the things we do beyond the school day. And I will tell you that where possible, we will look at every possibility to make those special events occur for you. One thing that has proven certain about this situation is the uncertainty around it. We will continue to make the decisions that take into account all the information we have while ensuring our staff and students are always operating in a safe environment. But we will do all of the things in our possibilities and in our power to make sure those special events occur. Even though we can't all be together in person right now, I feel that we're pretty fortunate that we can get together through the internet. More importantly, we're together in the spirit of community that is South High School. 
I miss you all terribly. But I believe in our families and I trust and the trust that they have in our school. I believe in our staff. Over the past three weeks, they have modeled for you what learning looks like. As I said before, we're all learning new things. Your teachers, myself, all of us. We're doing that to provide you the greatest experience that we can remotely. They too were thrown into an online world before they wanted to, but we're here to help you. And I can assure you, we can assure you, every staff member believes in you, the students of South High School. You've been dealt a challenging set of circumstances, but you can do it. And when you need help, we have the people here ready to stand alongside you to help figure this situation out. If we all give our best effort, that's good enough. And that's all we can do. We are here for you if you need anything, just let us know. Stay well, Mustangs, and I hope to be reaching out to you again very soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.